Hi, this is Morley and this is The M-Wire with another update from La Cumbre Vieja, La Palma. Well, yesterday we had a collapse of the main vent. Uh, there was a wall dividing two vents and it essentially collapsed on the northwest flank. And there was a lot of lava emitted initially from the volcano in completely different paths, which was a very scary experience because we don't know which way the trajectory of the lava is going to go. So this is a picture of the lava map. The older lava is the darker lava. So as you can see, there was quite a bit new lava uh, with the purple and the blue and the green there. So it is essentially following its path, but it does deviate from that, which can be potentially dangerous as it's completely random as to which way the lava is going to go. Obviously, it's going to follow the least path of resistance, but uh, it's anyone's guess exactly where it could potentially go. So that was a pretty scary situation when the cone collapsed. As far as the earthquakes go, they still remain very constant. As you can see, they're basically still in the uh, mid twos to upper twos to even threes, folks. They are numerous. And this is just the last 24 hours again. There is no relenting um, as far as the earthquakes go on La Palma. This looks to be fairly constant. Now this is a recent clip of the volcano. As you can see, it's uh, daytime there in uh, La Palma. But this thick cloud of black smoke is just billowing out as opposed to the white smoke. This is a very sooty looking smoke. As to what that means, um, I'm not sure, but uh, time will certainly tell, won't it? Here's a video of the SO2 map, folks. As you can see, the sulfur dioxide is wafting more towards the Caribbean there and perhaps even towards the continental United States. Uh, this is from Copernicus and uh, the SO2 levels are quite obviously heightened in the La Palma area. That's very apparent at this point. Here's the latest update from Volcano Discovery. Strong lava fountaining and effusion of lava flows continue at similarly high levels as during the past days. Along with the generation of an ash plume that rises approximately 2 kilometers and drifts southeast. Yesterday afternoon, a portion of the southwestern crater collapsed, effectively creating an elongated depression where the summit vents are aligned. A flood of lava poured into the western flank as a result, and for some time, the lower vent, the one that formed 10 days ago on the southwest flank, produced violet dome-shaped liquid lava fountains. Later on, this vent decreased the fountaining activity, while one of the adjacent higher summit vents began to produce pulsating, very tall lava fountains, reaching approximately 500 to 600 meters. The effusive vent beyond the northwest foot of the cone seemed to have decreased its activity a lot, perhaps due to crusting over the tunneling of the lava flow. Volcanic tremors remain stable at high levels. Earthquakes have increased in number and average size. During the past 24 hours, there were 22 quakes magnitudes of 3.0 to 3.7 many of them felt in the area. Additionally, 44 quakes have been between two and three occurred. While they are probably hundreds of smaller quakes as well that cannot be detected within the signal dominated by the tremor. All in all, the situation remains tense and it's impossible to predict what will happen next. Correct. This is a highly volatile, highly unpredictable situation where literally anything could happen. It must be absolutely terrifying for the residents of La Palma to not know what could potentially happen, whether it be in five minutes or five hours. I certainly would not want to be on that island and I don't think you would be either. I want to get into this short article here that talks a little more about the lava flows and the air quality in general. Some 400 hectares have been affected by the lava spewing from a volcanic eruption on La Palma and the Spanish Canary Islands according to the latest Homeland Security update published Monday. The lava flow from La Cumbre Vieja which began erupting on September 19th has also created a delta into the Atlantic Ocean that spans almost 29.7 hectares the DSN added. 
The collapse of the part of the main cone structure on Sunday night seems to have merged the two vents which has triggered an increase in the lava flow. The river of lava flowing westwards is up to a kilometer wide. The ash clouds that are forming primarily affect the southern slope of La Palma and the DSN has said finer ash particles may reach El Hierro Island. The decline in air quality in areas near the lava stream has forced the evacuation of scientists and emergency personnel with locals being urged to collect their belongings from their homes. So they've essentially kicked the scientific community out of the locality of the volcano folks. That is pretty serious when even scientists aren't even really allowed to go too close to it. That's very telling right there. The DSN said the air quality in non-evacuated areas near the volcano remains within normal levels. On Sunday, sulfur dioxide emissions reached 1,600 tons. According to the Volcanological Institute of the Canary Islands, Invocan, However, it is likely the volume of gas was higher because of measurements conducted using mini duas differential optical absorption spectroscopy, on roving vehicles have limited accuracy. Monitoring sulfur dioxide emissions is critical because it is often closely related to the intensity of magma output from these types of volcanic systems in Volcan reported. So it obviously has a scientific method in terms of um, talking about the magma output, but obviously it relates directly to the air quality, folks. I mean, you can't just not monitor the air quality on La Palma these days. That might be detrimental to a great many people to do so. A downward trend of sulfur dioxide would be an unequivocal sign that the eruption is nearing its end, the organization added. Access to electricity and telecommunications continues to operate normally, but the supply of drinking water and irrigation has been disrupted in the localities of El Paso and Los Llanos Ariane. Well, folks, that's the latest from uh, La Palma. I will certainly be keeping you updated if anything major happens, but I will be giving regular updates on this. Thank you so much for coming along with me to my video. I greatly appreciate the support. Please remember to like, to comment, to share and subscribe. Even when I'm not reporting on this, I certainly am thinking and praying for this small island community. This is absolutely terrible what's happened there. But thank you so much for coming along with me to my update, and God bless.